Welcome, here we are, the F5A Freedom Fighter, and for the first time in a very long time at top tier, I've actually been enjoying myself. And what I have for you today is some highlights at the start. I got a dogfight with two Marizers and an F4 Phantom, just some missile kills, just some quick overview things, and then I have a full 6 kill game, and a guns only ace. At about 5 minutes, and then 3 minutes later, the other full game will start as well. So if you want to see the full game, you can just skip the 5 minutes, otherwise you are the highlights and some dogfights. But why did I like this thing so much? And it's not because it has a mind piece, it's not because it has nice 20 mils that I'm used to, because I flew the F2 Sabre for 3000 kills, it's because this thing actually feels like a plane. Nothing like the Phantoms, the MiG and all those top tier planes that pull so much AOA that they fall out of the air, because they're insanely big with insane acceleration. Everything about these top tier planes is completely over the top. But this thing is just kind of modest about it all. Except for of course the maneuverability and the retention at higher speeds. Because if you go over 1100 kph and you do an 11g turn, you will actually maintain 1100 kph. Which is absolutely insane considering the, the tier it's at. Because if you look at a Phantom for example, if you just pull fully, it's not going to do anyone near that. You do want to be careful though, because the moment you go below 700 or 800 kph, it will start dumping speed rather quickly. But right now, look at my speed. I'm pulling about 10 g's and I'm not really losing that much energy. Sure, I'm on min fuel. Or rather, I don't have much fuel left. But this plane feels extremely nice. And then once I go below that 700 kilometers an hour mark, the speed just kind of starts bleeding off. And you do want to keep in mind that once you go slow on this thing, you will stay slow. At the same rate, if you're fast, you'll mostly stay fast too. It's not the fastest plane, it only goes Mach 1 on the deck. But it's extremely maneuverable and it just feels like a bit like a subsonic. It really does just feel like a, a buffed up YS. So if you like the G91 YS, you're probably going to like this thing. It is worth here 10.7, I think. I really think that this thing should not be down tiered whatsoever, even with worse missiles. Right now it goes over Mac, it pulls 16 Gs, it's very maneuverable, it doesn't rip, it has good missiles, it just basically has everything going for it except for some acceleration and top speed. And I really think that if you're flying something like a CL-13 or anything like those planes, you don't want to face these things. Remember that hit, because it's going to come back to bite them in the ass. And you can tell, I'm not having much trouble staying with a Mirage. The Mirages are not bad in the 1v1, not at all. Phantom's coming up, I had to spray at him. I kind of had to take the head on, because otherwise I was going to be dead if I turned back down. He would have missed me, so I had to take the head on. Not a fan of doing that. This time it kind of worked out. And the only reason I'm showing you this is because now... I'm going to be 1v1ing a Mirage with two crit wing roots. And no nose gear, of course, which is the most important part. So what am I trying to do here? I'm trying to slow down a bit. I'm trying to stay above his nose. I'm trying to make him overshoot. I'm going very slow right now. I'm doing very wide circles because I'm crit. So with a little bit of luck, what's going to happen is he's going to pass by me. And with a very close eye right now, I'm directly above him. We're going with roughly the same speed. So I can pull in here. It takes a little bit of a bad trajectory, but he's also basically stalling out. Flaps on this are actually pretty nice as well, but I'm below him now. I'm pulling up still. And look at this stall control. That's just me missing. That's not the stall control. But look, I'm just back on his ass. And if I was not crit, this guy had no chance versus me. And there he goes. Into the ground we go. And here we go with the full game. I think, oh no, this is another highlight. It's the same map, and that's why I was mistaken. So, this plane, it feels a bit like a subsonic, really. I love it. I'm actually loving it. I put a talisman on it already, and I'm just grinding out the entire other line of the Chinese, because I don't have the, the J6 yet, the Q5, and the J7 too. So, I can just nicely grind these out by spamming this plane. So, if I get more good games, if you want to see them, uh, right now all the footage that I got is in this video basically. Everything that I wanted to show you. If you want to see more, do let me know. I'm going to be flying this thing plenty I think. I love how it looks. I've been waiting for this plane for a very long time. And I just, I'm really happy that for once I'm actually excited about a new plane that's been added. The F5 is a plane I've been waiting for. It's a plane that actually is exactly what I expected it to be. And that's not something you hear me say every day. To be excited about something that they just added. Because normally at top tier, I just, I hate it. I absolutely despise it. Because all the planes, they pull a lot. They lose a lot of energy. They all have instant acceleration. They don't turn whatsoever. And I don't like that kind of gameplay. And this thing just fits me perfectly. So, 
probably expect more. If I get a really, really good game, you of course will see it. But if you want to see another overview. And here you go, this is going to be a guns only ace. And I want to put this in here just to kind of show you very quickly. Because it's like a three minute game. I just want to show you very quickly how nimble and how easy it is to get guns on people. So, first things first. There's a little football going on here. And I'm not sure which one I want to go for. But I see a J25. And a J25 is definitely the first plane you really want to kill in this thing. Because J25s are extremely scary. Pull a bit of lead, blow his wing off. On to the next one. Prime a missile already, because I'm thinking about uh, killing someone with a missile here. This guy pulls off, doesn't want to go head on. Can get the lead in, because this thing just goes so fast all the time that you can't really pull lead in sometimes. It still pulls a lot of Gs, but the AOA of this thing isn't very insane. This guy is basically falling out of the air. Just kill him real quick. Wanted to go for the F4E right there, but he got missed by someone, so I didn't need to. FRE coming in, he's gonna be flying over me, so I keyboard into him to prime the missile, shoot it behind him, but he fires right into my gun, set him on fire. Here comes Coppen to secure the kill, luckily he doesn't actually manage to get it. Coppen has a Twitch channel, he's flying this thing right now probably, so if you want to check him out, then he's in the description down below. Now just a matter of basically cleaning up, and I'm just gonna fast forward to the point where something happens. The full game that I will show you in a second, I won't fast forward anything, and I'll just show you the full thing. He's going ahead on with someone else, not paying attention to me, easy clap, and that's kill number four. And this gameplay isn't necessarily the best or very representative, but I just want to put it in here so you get a little bit of an average feeling for what this plane can actually do and what it feels like in terms of handling. And I think more gameplay is good since there's nothing like this plane in the game right now. As per usual, I got 100 kills to make sure that what I say is at least somewhat correct. If you don't agree with everything I say, feel free to let me know. But I try to do multiple games so I don't get a biased opinion. Because at the start I got 50 kills without dying. And then I died like 6 games in a row. Which kind of removed the rose colored glasses so to speak. And that's the last kill. On to the last game. Here we go. And this is the actual full game. What am I going to do? I'm going to kill Mirages. And why am I going to kill Mirages? Because most Mirages that you face right now don't have the flares. These are the Mirages that are already in the game. Or already were in the game. And they don't have flares. And a Mirage without flares is pretty susceptible to missiles especially well if you don't look behind you so who do i go for now and it's a matter of looking around trying to find who's pointing his ass towards me preferably a mirage because mirages are pretty annoying to fight he just shot a missile at someone he just killed someone he's way too slow to dodge and that's mission number two and that's two mirages down very early on which is exactly what i want because those magics are extremely dangerous and you just don't want to fight them go ahead on with a jaguar not gonna take that head on because he had the lead on me way too close i don't like that kind of head on so i'm just gonna dodge jaguar isn't much of a problem in this thing anyway I'm not even gonna bother chasing that f104 so i'm just gonna let him run away and re-engage this guy over here because i don't want numbers in the area my team is kind of falling apart so i want to kill as many people as quickly as i can a7d is a pretty easy target so that's the first guy i'm going to kill right here and if i had gone for the f104 over there i would have gotten all these four guys right on my six here and what do I want to do now? These guys are all going to catch me except for the A7D in the long run. So I want to take a head on with at least one of them. And take one down. The A7 won't be a problem. The Mirage is way too close. And the Jaguar is mostly pretty desperate. Because the Jaguar isn't a very good plane. I outrange him completely with these 20 mils. He only has a death fast. I don't outrange him however. So I dodge the A7. Mirage seems to be running away. One for one the A7 real quick. And this guy is not going to be surviving this. The A7 does not stand a chance versus this plane. Not even maybe. Quick side note. The gun pots on the A7 actually got nerfed. So if you think the plane is suddenly performing a lot worse. That's because it actually is. They became like 8 times heavier. And they got almost 15 times the drag. So keep that in mind if you're flying the A7 right now. Because you're getting absolutely clubbed by these teams. As the A7 teams are pretty bad right now. Like you're looking at 6 to 10 per game. Alright, Mirage is diving away, which is the correct thing to do here. He's actually looking behind him, and he just dodges the, the bridge there. He didn't do that on purpose, he DM'd me afterwards, I'll put a clip on the top right, if I didn't already. So I'm never going to catch the Mirage. I'm saying Mirage a lot this uh, this video. But I'm giving the Mirage some room here, so that he can re-engage me, 1v1 me, and then I can show you guys what it feels like to 1v1 a Mirage. A J35 on the other hand will absolutely kick your shit in, just don't get me wrong on that. But that's beside the point. I'm giving him some room so he can actually 1v1 me and show you guys how it feels. He doesn't do it, he tries to go RTB, he's probably low on fuel as well because he's a well a Mirage. So I'm going to cut off my afterburn, I'm just going to be gliding around, making sure that I don't get killed right here. Because I run out of fuel, which would be a bit unfortunate. But something about head-ons that I was talking about earlier, 
people with Vulcans, people with uh, GSHs, 23s, and our 30s, and all those guns, and the gun pulls of the A7D, they have a lot of range. They will reach about four kilometers. So if you try to go head on with them, what mostly is going to happen is they will hit you by the time you're even in gun range. So you explode the moment you pull the trigger, which is very unfortunate to say the least. So what I recommend on doing is either not taking a head on whatsoever, because you can easily dodge it. You pull 21 Gs in a snap roll and this plane won't give a single shit. So do what you have to do to get out of head ons. Just head on people with guns like this and our 30s. You don't have the most amount of firepower and you're nimble enough to get out of it most of the time. Dogfight with a Mirage. I'm gonna show you something. You look at that turn rate. That was 16 Gs at one point. I'm already inside of his turn. He didn't even complete his yet. And he's dumping more speed than I am. So what ends up happening is I cut into your loop. And uh, well now I'm uh, 200 meters on your 6. And uh, you're not getting rid of this thing. It's a dangerous dangerous plane at high speed. This thing does not mess about. So be careful of it. If you drag it to low speed. Which is basically the counter of this thing. Do it, make it do one turn, just fly away if it doesn't have missiles. And if you re-engage it then a little bit later, it will be on very low energy. And it's very easy pickings. And there you have it, the F-5A Freedom Fighter. Look forward to more, looking at an F-25, F-86, F-25 or an F-9F-8 video very soon here. Hope you all enjoyed it. And I'm going to show the scoreboard and then I'm going to be tuning out. Have a good one everyone and see you all later.